Alex Brennan here, welcome back to the channel. Um, so this video is going to be about why I don't have loose skin from the major weight loss that I went through. Um, you guys, if you guys don't know, if you guys are new to the video, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys do know that um, I lost 120 pounds, my highest I ever weighed was 270 pounds, um, I was fat my whole life, etc, etc, the regular fat story. But what happened was I lost 120 pounds and I was I just got straight skinny. I didn't have muscle as I do now, but I want to go through the reasons why I don't and how you can prevent it yourself. So I'll post a picture um, of me when I was fat right here, and then I'll post a picture of me when I lost weight. Now, when I lost weight, guys, all I did was I uh, did cardio and I, uh, I was in a calorie deficit, so I was on a diet. Um, I didn't work out, none of that stuff. So the first time that I had uh, lost weight was when I lost 120 pounds. So I went from 270 down to 155 and I was just straight skinny. Now I did have loose skin when I was skinny. So when I lost all that weight, I did have loose skin. Now, what happened after that is I wanted, you know, I knew I had loose skin. People could tell on me and I would try to hide it by like tucking it in my pants, da da da, da. But um, what I did was I, uh, I bulked up, right? So I was in the gym. I was weight training like five to seven days a week, um, doing my muscle parts like chest and triceps, back and biceps, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, arm day, whatever. Leg day, for sure. Um, and I, I bulked up all the way back from, I went from 155 up to 200 pounds. So I did a 50 pound, you know, mass size bulk. I went from 200 pounds down to 163 and I had no loose skin. I was shredded, I had my abs. I'll put up pictures of me right there. And then um, from that phase, you know, I went on another bulk, all right? So I went on another bulk all the way up to Recently, it was uh, 208 pounds, right? From 208 pounds, now I am doing the diet again, and we're actually prepping for a men's physique show um, coming in November. We're gonna be doing two shows, November 4th and November 11th. I might do the November 4th, when it's not it's not for certain, but I am gonna pay for everything to get the number, November 11th set, um, and that's for sure. So, you guys can actually follow my channel um, and you know, go through it. Da, da, da. You can kind of see how I diet and all that stuff. You know, what I do on a daily basis, etc. But I want to talk about how you guys can prevent it. You know, this is me right now. This is me right now, guys. Uh, with Twenty pounds lost already, about fifteen to sixteen. Um, I don't know why I round up. But I wanna talk about how you guys can prevent loose skin. Um, the best way, if you already have loose skin, the advice that I could give you is to bulk up, weight train hard as hell, you know, put on some size, and just keep doing a bulk to cut phase because the reason loose skin is there is because you lost weight too fast. That's literally what it's there. If you lost a pound, if you're really overweight, about like 250 plus, and you're trying to get, you know, you know, down to like 150, 160, etc., cetera, to where you're skinny, you know, you're gonna have loose skin, but how to prevent it and get the least amount of loose skin as possible is to do it as slow as possible. You know, loose skin is there because you don't give your body time to adapt to the change. So basically it's not tightening up. The reason people don't have loose skin is because their skin is tight. Obviously it's called loose skin, you know, and the way to prevent that is to one, lose weight, as slow as you can, you know, I know it's annoying, but you know, in the long run, it'll be worth it. If you already have loose skin, I would recommend bulking um, by like 50 pounds plus, you know, or whatever you feel comfortable with, bulking and weight training hard as hell, you know, just eat whatever the hell you want. But like, you know, make sure your protein's high, make sure that your carbs are a little bit high, try to keep your fat a little bit low, you know, and don't put on a lot of fat during the bulk. Try to, you know, put on some muscle mass, right? After that, then you want to shred down. And um, you know, there is a difference between losing weight and cutting, like I said, 
you still want to weight train hard and you still want it to be in a calorie deficit and then watch the shreds come in if you keep doing that and you have you'll you'll see that you'll have way less loose skin than you you already had so that's the type of advice that i can give you guys obviously drink a lot of water you know all that stuff but the best way possible is, is just to keep keep it as slow as possible and if you already have loose skin like i said just bulk up put on some muscle mass not fat mass muscle mass you're gonna put on a little bit of fat but the goal is to put on as least fat as possible you know after that you should be having way less loose skin than before so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something if you guys are interested in following me on my journey of this men's physique show uh, prep and um you guys want to like comment anything that i've been through or all that stuff you know go ahead and leave it in the comment section i'll answer it immediately or even make a video about it but i'm hungry as hell like i said i just did the fast cardio and um yeah i'm gonna go eat and i will see you guys in the next video love you fam peace